What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, T. Sizzle. I'm back for another video. And for today's video, <clears throat> we're going to discuss something that I have mentioned in previous videos, but I never made like an in-depth video about it. It's going to be titled Boredom. It's going to be titled Boredom or Ancedonia or whatever. Now, Life is Overrated made a video like this, like, you know, either a month ago or a few months back. And I didn't really understand what he was saying for real. Uh, you know, I didn't really understand what he was talking about like that until now. Because, like, I would say being bored has been one of my biggest problems in life. Nothing really excites me anymore. Like, well, I ain't gonna say nothing excites me. It's just the fact that with with my financial status, I can't do the things that will excite me, you know? I can only like, so it's, it's, you know, with, cause I'm poor, right? We're all poor. Yeah. That, that's one thing that, you know, I used to be afraid to say. And cause like growing up, um, my mom always used to say, we're poor, we're poor. Tarshawn, we're poor, we're poor. And I say, mom, stop saying that out loud. Because like, because my mom will always walk around saying she's poor and shit. I'm like, mom, quit saying you're poor. Motherfucker, we're all poor. That's not no fuck. Like, you know, I don't know why I used to tell her that because back then, you know, you know, it's stupid. We're all fucking poor. We're all poor. Then at one point I had believed in manifestation. You know, law of attraction says that you can speak things into existence. So I said, mom, if you say that, if you keep saying that, you're going to always be poor. Fuck that law of attraction bullshit. You know, whether you say that shit or not, you know, nothing's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we're all poor, nigga. You know, be, be honest about it. We're po I'm poor. I'm a broke motherfucker. I'm poor. I am poor. Right? Don't got that much money. Right? But anyways, yeah, so everything just it just life it just life is boring, man. You know, everything is boring. Everything that nothing really excites me. Because after you do something over and over and over again, it gets boring. It it loses its fun factor. Like um like, uh, I love watching, like, everything you do, like, for example, my favorite food is pizza, but if I keep eating pizza every day, it's not going to really, it's not going to really, you know, it's going to get boring, you know, after I eat it over and over again, you know, if I say a joke and you guys laugh at it, if, if you keep hearing the same joke, it's not going to be funny no more. That's one of the reasons why I stopped watching the Hodge twins because, it, you know, after a while, it's the same shit over and over again. Busting all kinds of nuts. All kinds of gains. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Now, it's funny as fuck. That shit's funny. But when you keep hearing the same shit over and over again, it's like, okay, you guys, okay, the same joke, same shit. Okay. What's new? What's new? Even y'all motherfuckers, y'all might like my video, but after a while, you're going to say, okay, even though this nigga be, be speaking real shit and he's funny, I need to find somebody else to watch because I'm, I'm tired of watching his ass. You don't go want to find somebody to fucking else to watch, nigga. This life is just monotonous. Do the same thing every day. Wake up, take a, take a dookie, brush your teeth, go to work, come home, eat, sleep. Same shit every day, man. It gets, it gets boring. You know, and then even when you do find something that you like, it's only a matter of time before it gets boring. Like if you if you listen to a new song and you like, oh, yeah, nigga, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, after a while, you're like, OK, this song's old now. You know, I want to play something else. It's like it's like us as humans. We constantly need something. To, we, 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 we constantly need something to excite us. We constantly need something to excite us, to keep us, to keep us entertained. Cause everything doesn't, everything like it gets old to us. Even, even like rich people, like there's things that if I could experience it, it would excite me. But to a motherfucker who been doing that shit for 10 years, it's like nothing to them. Like, for example, let's say if I went to a yacht party, a party on a yacht. I'm like, oh, shit, a fucking yacht party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to fucking, uh, but to a motherfucking uh, Warren Buffett, he's like, nigga, 
I've been doing this shit. This this shit ain't nothing new. This shit's just this shit is just a regular day to me, bruh. Just a regular day. This ain't shit. <laughs> because he Warren Buffett been doing that shit. It, it doesn't excite him no more. It's just a regular shit to him. You know, everything even some shit that it, that would excite you, rich motherfuckers already did that shit, and to them it's just they don't give a fuck about that shit no more. <sighs> It's crazy, man. Nothing, you know, that we that we constantly need new things to excite us. We we constantly that's why that's why um a lot of these YouTubers are starting to do YouTube boxing or do these boxing shits because they, they need something new. They've been doing YouTube for so long, they they want to try something new, man. That's all that that's why that's that's one of the reasons why we that's why we like to try stuff, try new things because it gets boring. Just like when people are in a marriage and, and people say, you have to spice it up in the bedroom. Yeah, like, you know, like like you're in a marriage and then, you know, you constantly put your balls in the mouth of your of your wife. And you do that over and over again. You know, you ask your wife. Can I put my balls in the And she agrees to it, and y'all do that shit over and over and over again. Eventually, that shit gets boring, and then she don't want you to put your fucking balls in her jaws no more. You, you have to spice it up. What does that mean? Doing something different because the same shit gets boring. You're like, oh, same shit again. Eh. Yeah, everything, gets, like, everything gets boring, man. Everything, everything we do over time, it gets boring, man. We no longer feel the pleasure of it no more. Right? Like... Um, like for example, like my job that I had, like the job I have now, when I first got hired here, it it was something new. It was interesting because it was new. But then after a while, I'm like, okay, this shit sucks now. It's boring. It's, it's every same routine every day. It's boring now. You know, that's why we have people out here called thrill seekers and daredevils. Thrill seekers constantly seek that thrill. They constantly seek that thrill. That's why they do extreme shit like jump off of skyscrapers and fucking do parkour on fucking rooftops and shit. And fucking, you got people, this nigga on YouTube who likes to, uh, who likes to, uh, explore the caverns of caves and shit. This nigga be climbing into fucking cave caverns that are like this, like, that are like small as fuck. He could get stuck in that shit. He could get stuck in that shit. But he says, hey, man, I just like to do this shit. You know, this is what I love to do. He needs that constant thrill. He needs the constant excitement. He can't just do a regular, regular shit like all of us. He needs to put himself in dangerous situations to keep his ass excited. He has, he has to put himself in situations where he could possibly die to get that, to get that motherfucking adrenaline rush. Just like Madara and fucking Naruto, when he came back alive, he's like, "Oh, oh my God, I feel pain, I feel blood, oh shit!" It, it was a fucking, it was a fucking adrenaline rush to his ass. Like last year, I was at, I was at this fucking uh, ghetto ass block party, and at the block party there was a shootout, and and I had no, I knew, I'm, I'm like, all these ghetto ass niggas. Somebody finna get shot. I, I, bro, I already fucking predicted that. Cause, cause, because, because I understand niggas. I am what you would call a niggaologist. I am a niggaologist. I understand the mindset of the nigga. I understand that I understand the nigga's mindset. So I'm like, yep, it's gonna be a shootout. <laughs> and the whole time I was scared, but that fear kind of was fun. Now, with that being said, I don't, I, I do not want to be put back in, in that same situation. But it was fun that that fucking thrill seeking shit, that thrill seeking bullshit, man. You know, <laughs> that's why, and that's why some girls love thugs because, like, you ask a girl, hey, why do you like thugs? Because they give us that excitement. They're so fucking exciting. They, they, they're fucking dangerous, and it's so fucking exciting. That's why they like that thug shit, that thug nigga shit. 
I got that thug in love, thug in love. I got that thug in love. That's why you like that shit, the thrill, man. It's crazy, <laughs> you know. Motherfuckers like that thrill, man. Motherfuckers like that thrill shit, you know. You know. Now, I'm not a thrill seeker to the to the highest degree of where I'm where I'm gonna put myself in dangerous situations just to get excitement, but. I understand why some motherfuckers are like that. Um, uh, I had I had an ex homeboy that used to get a lot of girls because he was spontaneous. Like he he was always spontaneous, and like that was his nature to be like super spontaneous and shit. And a lot of girls he talked to liked it that that he was a super spontaneous and stuff. He always wanted to do some new shit all the time, and that shit gave them the the excitement that they wanted. So yeah, man. Yeah, this that that's why some girls like spontaneous ass motherfuckers. We need we all we always need that adrenaline rush. We always need it, man. For example, I remember growing up, porn was considered taboo, and I was told not to watch it. And for the longest, I didn't really watch it until you know until you know I kind of got to a teenager, and bro. From age 13 to 16, bro, porn was so motherfucking magical. It was so motherfucking magical, bro. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, nigga, like it was, it was, it was like, it was like I opened Pandora's box. I'm like, humming, 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 humming. Seeing all them fat, like seeing all them asses jiggling. I could type in any ethnicity of a girl. Oh, today I want to whack off the Chinese women. Now and then tomorrow, and okay, or today I want to watch black women. Or next day I want to watch white women. You know, or I want to watch these people. Like, like I remember, like almost every type of girl. I I, I had like a phase to where I would watch like watch their videos like. For like a while, I was watching only Asian videos and only black women and only white girls and only shit like that. Watching all these different kind of bodies and shit. Watching all these anal sex videos. Watching girls, assholes, get pounded by fucking dick, motherfucker. It, it, it was exciting to me. It was, it was, it was, it was a, it was a wonderful experience. Nowadays, porn ain't shit. <laughs> Porn ain't shit. I don't give a fuck about pornos no more, man. I already seen all of it already. It's the same shit. It's old now. It doesn't give me that excitement like how it used to. It doesn't excite me no more. I mean, I still watch it though, but even though I watch it, it's like, eh. Eh. I already seen this shit all over and over again. This thing. You know? A... A once great video is now nothing to me now. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm gonna always, I'm gonna always, um, remember that wonderful nut that it gave me in the past. But it's like now, you know, even if I do bust a nut to it, it's, it's the the fucking nut ain't the same no more. It's not the same no more. I mean, damn man, you know. Yeah, man, this is like, even people that are like drug, druggies, love to do drugs. First, they might start off, you know, doing some shit, doing like, I don't know, Zan, like doing weed or smoking weed or something. And after a while, they, they, um, they, they, uh, they build their tolerance towards weed. And then they may upgrade from weed to fucking Xanax. And, and then they go from Xanax to Percocets. And they go from Percocets to motherfucking, I don't know. Uh, fucking, I don't fucking know, fucking bath sauce or some shit, and <laughs> fucking crack, cocaine, whatever, because they got used to what they were doing. Now they need something else that is a new, a new experience, a new feeling. Now they need something else, man, because it's old now. Like, uh, uh, behind, you know, this is why. Like, I actually somewhat kind of don't. I actually somewhat now I understand drug addicts kind of even more because a lot of people do drugs because they they're trying to escape the pain of reality 
or they're bored as fuck and they and they and they want to feel something. They want to feel that dopamine. So I actually kind of understand drug addicts, man. And there's a time where I where I think uh, a nigga named Russ was talking about how people are dumb as fuck for being drug addicts. And then uh, the rapper, the uh, the uh, the late rapper Fredo Santana was like, "Yo, bro, people do drugs for different reasons." Don't talk shit about drug addicts and shit. And, and at time, I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? But then, but now I understand that shit, bro. Like, like motherfuckers do drugs because because they're trying to escape the pain of life, or they're just bored as fuck, man. They because drugs, even though I never did drugs before, just from what I hear, it gives you a euphoric feeling. It 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 just gives you a feeling that you'll never experience if you don't do it. It just fucking gives you a euphoric, magical feeling. It just gives you that shit. Check my fucking chicken, nigga. So I don't burn them bastards, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, drugs just um, gives you that uh, euphoric feeling, puts you in ecstasy, you know. So, so when 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 Fredo said that, I had understood it a little bit, but I didn't fully understand it till now. Like that, so th- that's how motherfuckers do drugs, man. So, you know. But at the same time, um, <clears throat> you know, at the same time, like, it has the bad effects because it can leave you brain dead. I actually used to work at a, uh, at a mental health hospital and there's a nigga who had fucking did, who did fucking bath salts and he fucking went brain dead off that shit. Niggas brain dead. So, which kind of leads into the topic of, of Hedonism, hedonism and Ancedonia kind of goes hand in hand, you know, hedonism is pretty much, hedonism is you're constantly seeking pleasure, you're constantly seeking, seeking excitement, that goes hand in hand with Ancedonia, because you're bored, you constantly try to seek excitement, man, you know, And, and, and it's crazy, because in this world, even shit, like, there's things that that gives you that excitement that can lead to your detriment. Like I said, daredevils. If you're a daredevil and you fucking and you're always jumping out of shit, you know, what if your parachute doesn't come out? What if you fucking fall? There's vi- there's videos of motherfuckers doing parkour falling off that motherfucking shit. You know? Hedonism can lead to you ending your fucking life because you constantly Want to chase that excitement, chase that thrill, like boxers and UFC fighters. You know, you you want that thrill so bad that that you're willing to get fucking knocked the fuck out and fucking die. You know, it's crazy, man. You know, we're we're always seeking thrill, we're always seeking excitement because everything gets boring after a while. You know, everything gets boring, man. Like for real, bro. Like. It just gets mundane. Why do you think people cheat? Because they get because they got bored with the motherfucker. They, they got bored. They got, they got old, man. You know, people get t- bored of each other. That's why some people break up or some people um, cheat or whatever. But but in my last video, I'm, you know, I made a video titled "Open Relationships," where I feel like if if you're bored if you're bored with your partner and you and you still love them. And they treated you right. You sh- you shouldn't necessarily break up with them, but y'all should definitely have an open relationship where y'all talk to other people, but y'all still together. Because in this world, it's hard to find somebody who's going to treat you right. So I I wouldn't recommend just completely breaking up with your partner, you know. But so I wanted to say, man. <laughs> so I wanted to say, man. Um, when it comes to the topic of hedonism or whatever. 
or Ancedonia, everything gets boring, man. Like you, you fucking get a video game, you love it. After a while, it gets old. You get hear a new song, you love it. After a while, it gets old, man. Like the fucking song, uh, ninety. 90 mf by trey by trey fuego that shit was hard as fuck heard it too many times now i don't want to hear it no more but but i wish like like there's certain songs that i wish i could still feel that same excitement as i did when i first watched it or whatever or heard it you know and you know and and um and even anime you know certain shit that fucking blew your mind at one point you see it so many times now it doesn't really blow your mind no more you know I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to say. I'm out.